I came here by accident uh, because I was supposed to go back to Louisiana and just ride for the fur placement. That's how I came here. That's why. I, that's how I got started. Warren Samantha coming home to win it easy under Edwin Maldonado. Well, he already earned the riding title this meet here at Fairplex, but he's going to keep adding on to his win total. After a surprising victory in the rider standings at Fairplex Park in 2012, Edwin Maldonado chose to extend his stay in Southern California indefinitely. With the Betfair Hollywood Park Autumn meeting just around the corner, Edwin hoped to ride the momentum of his first ever riding title as far as it would take him. Don's Charm going to give Edwin Maldonado his third, and she's going to win by double digits. Edwin Maldonado had her geared down towards the end, and he's starting to separate himself in the jockey standings. Maldonado went on to edge out Rafael Bejarano by a single win at Betfair Hollywood Park, resulting in yet another landmark victory for the up-and-coming jockey. I never thought I would be a leading rider there, but uh, by the half of the meet, uh, uh, my agent told me we got a chance to, to you know, to get the title, so uh, we worked a little harder to get it, and we, we got it. Maldonado's journey to racing prominence has taken him all over the world. Born in Columbus, Ohio, he moved to Puerto Rico at the age of five, where he was raised in a diehard racing family. Edwin's father, grandfather, and uncle were all jockeys. I started my career in, in Winnipeg, Canada, in uh, 2001. And from there, uh, uh, I went down to Texas. I rode in Texas for a couple of years. After gaining experience on those circuits, Maldonado moved to California, eager to prove himself on the biggest stage. When I first started, Jack Vanberg gave me a shot. Uh, Jeff Bondi, I couldn't, Polanco. Uh, usually when you when you, when you knew him to a place, you, you, you want to start with, uh, with the small barns and, and work your way up to the big barns. But, uh, uh, they all give me a shot. They nice people. At five foot seven inches, Maldonado is among the tallest jockeys in the colony. While he struggled with weight issues early in his career, he's overcome that and more along the way. Growing up, they always told me you, you can't be a jockey. You're too tall. You're gonna be big. But uh, I never, never let it bother me. I never. I always. I wanted to be a jockey. That same spirit and determination that served him well as a young boy in Puerto Rico still does today. Sometimes you, you got to work horses that you're not going to ride. But yeah, working, working hard in the mornings has, has been very successful. Enjoying success here on the prestigious Southern California circuit means the world to Maldonado. For now, he hopes that this magical run he's been on is just beginning. I, mean, I, I always watched uh, Hollywood Park in Santa Anita, always since I was a kid. Uh, 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 growing up, I always followed my uncle, who was a rider too, Manny Alicia, ever since I was a little boy. I watch the races. I always dreamed to be a jockey and here I am.